Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we are going to create this beautiful effect on the image. I'm going to use image spawn and relax.js to create this beautiful effect. In this lecture, you're going to understand how you can spawn your image through different grid elements and you're also going to understand how you can use relax.js to create this beautiful effect. So before we're getting late, let's get started and see how to create this beautiful tutorial. I'm going to just simply open my Visual Studio Code editor and here I'm going to have a simple asset folder. In this folder, I'm going to have two images. You can notice I have these two images. You can choose any images that doesn't matter. I'm going to just minimize it. And now I'm going to create a new file here and name this file index.html. I'm going to just create a simple HTML5 snippet. So I'm going to add exclamation mark and press enter. I'm going to choose title image spawn. And just start this title here, I'm going to just link my style.css file. So before I link it, we need to create it. I'm going to create here style.css. In this style, I'm going to add style to this index file. So I'm going to say here link to link this file. And here I'm going to say style.css. That's it. Now just start that in the body section, I'm going to create different division tags. So here I'm going to first create my container. So let me first create here command container element. So I'm going to say here container. Close this command to indicate this is the closing container. Just like this. I'm going to specify here forward slash to indicate this is the closing container. And here I'm going to create a division tag with a class container. Now in this div, we have a different division tags. And this division tag represent grid elements. In this div, I'm going to create my grid elements. But before I move on, I'm going to just save the changes and open this file in the live server. So I'm going to right click here and select open with live server. If you don't have this extension in your VS code, just click on this extension and just search for live server and install this extension in your VS code editor. Once you install it, you will find this option open with live server. So I'm going to right click here and say open with live server. This will open this file in the browser and you can notice here we have blank document. Let me just close this and toggle this window on the right side just like this and now minimize this explorer just like this what i'm going to do is here in this container i'm going to create different divs so first i'm going to create here a division tag with the class bg1 so to create a div i'm going to say here dot bg1 when i press tab i'm going to have a division tag with the class bg1 in visual studio code you don't need to specify div and then specify class to it instead you just need to specify dot and then specify class name when you press tab you're going to have your division tag. Now, once I have my div, I'm going to just duplicate it. So to duplicate this div, in Visual Studio Code, you need to specify Shift, Alt, and Down key. When you specify Down key, you can notice we have to duplicate div here, just like this. So I'm going to just duplicate this div six times. Save the changes. Now, you're not going to see anything here because we don't have anything in this div. Let me just back to my style.css. And here, I'm going to first import font which I'm using first I'm going to just specify here star and specify box sizing is going to border box to all the elements margin is going to be zero and then padding is going to be zero so I'm going to remove margin padding and specify border box to all the HTML elements now just out of that I'm going to specify body and to the body I'm going to specify font family and here I'm going to just use cursive. I'm going to save the changes and now I'm going to specify display grid to this container. So in the style.css, I'm going to first select the container just like this. And here I'm going to specify display is going to be grid. And then, and then I'm going to say here grid template columns. And now I want to create here different columns. So I'm going to specify here repeat. I want to repeat six column. So I'm going to say here six. And I'm going to specify equal width to all the columns. So I'm going to say here one F R. So I'm going to specify equal width to all the columns and I'm going to create six column in this grid. Just out of that, I'm going to specify grid gap five pixel. Now, when I save the changes, you're not going to see anything here because we did not specify anything to these division tags. So let me just specify something to this div. So here I'm going to just create dot container. And in this container, we have different divs. So I'm going to select all the divs at the same time. And to these divs, I'm going to specify height. And height is going to be 210 pixel. 
Once I specify height, I'm going to specify background size. Background size is going to be cover. And to this background, I'm going to specify image. So I'm going to say here background URL and in the URL, I'm going to specify dot forward slash specify asset folder and select my image just like this. And then I'm going to save the changes and you can notice we have image to all the columns. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify only one image to all these columns. I'm going to spawn the image through different grid elements. So I'm going to simply use here background attachment and I'm going to specify fix here. And I save the changes. I have only one image to all these elements. Now, once you understand how you can spawn this image through different grid elements, let me show you how you can use RelaxJS to scroll this image and create a beautiful effect. So, I'm going to open a new tab and search for CDNJS. I'm going to search for it and open the CDNJS.com. And here I'm going to search for RelaxJS. So I'm going to open this Redact.js lightweight JavaScript library and here I'm going to copy a script tag just like this. And let me just open the Redact.js official website. I'm going to open the Redact.js. I'm going to open the Redact.js official website and on this website you can find the documentation. The Redact.js is basically used to specify different speed to different element when you scroll down. Now if I want to explain Redact.js in only one sentence then I would say the Redact.js used to scroll the element on different speed. You can notice here the speed of these elements are different. Using Redact.js, you can scroll your different element on different speed. Let me show you how you can use this Redact.js to create beautiful effect. I'm going to just back to my index.html file and down here before this closing body, right here I'm going to paint script tag just like this. You need to specify the Relax class where you want to specify the scrolling effect. So you can notice here you can specify this class just like this if you want you can specify any name to this class that doesn't matter but to understand clearly i'm using this relax class so i'm going to just open my index file and here just after this bg1 i'm going to specify relax just like this i'm going to copy this class and paste it to this division tag as well open this style.css and to this container i'm going to add some bottom margin so i'm going to say here bottom margin 80% now once you specify bottom margin when you scroll down you're not going to say anything here because you did not initialize the relax.js you need to first initialize this relax.js class just like this in the javascript so i'm going to copy this statement and open the index file and down here i'm going to create a script tag and in the script tag i'm going to initialize this relax object just like this as you know we have this relax class to this division tags so i'm going to save the changes when I scroll down, you can notice I have the different scrolling effect to my images. Right? Now, what I want, I want to change speed of each of these elements one by one. If you open the relax library, you can notice you have here data attribute to specify different speed to different elements. So I'm going to use this data attribute and specify different speed to my elements. So I'm going to copy this data attribute and I'm going to specify that to the first div just like this specify equal to sign in the double quote I'm going to specify 35 using the positive value I'm going to specify the super fast speed to my element and using negative value I'm going to specify the slow and smooth speed to my element I want to specify the super fast speed to the first element and when I scroll down you can notice the first element is move faster than the other elements right now I'm going to use the same technique to all these elements so to the second div I'm going to copy this data attribute, specify that here and I'm going to just change this value and here I'm going to specify 40 just like this. Then I'm going to copy this data attribute, specify that here and here I'm going to specify 55. Then copy this data attribute, specify that here, specify 70 here, then specify the data attribute again, change this value to 85 and specify the data attribute again and change the value and specify here 100 just like this save the changes and now you can notice i have this beautiful effect on my different grid elements now let me create a few more elements here so i'm going to just open my index file and here you can notice this is the first row specify a comment here just like this to indicate this is the first row copy this command paste it down here then I'm going to create second and third row. 
So here I'm going to create a command second and third. Copy this command, paste it down here to indicate this is the closing second and third row. I'm going to copy this division tags, paste it down here and paste it down here just like this. Just after that, I'm going to create four and fifth row. So instead of specifying command here, I'm going to just copy this div, paste it here and paste it here just like this. Save the changes. When I save the changes, you can notice I have my complete image here. You can notice how we can use the image spawn to display the complete image using grid elements. Now when I remove this grid gap, you can see the complete image. But I'm going to leave this gap as it is to show you how the scrolling work. So let me just scroll this image. So when I scroll the image, you can notice we have this beautiful effect. So when you scroll the image using relaxes, you can create this beautiful effect. Now just for that, I'm going to specify the background image to this document. So here I'm going to create another division tag with the class fix. And to this class, I'm going to specify fixed background. So in the style.css, I'm going to specify fixed background to this fix class. So down here, I'm going to specify dot fix and specify here position. I'm going to specify fixed position to this fixed class. Then I'm going to specify top is going to be zero. Then I'm going to specify width. Width is going to be 100% and height is going to be 100%. Then I'm going to specify background URL and in the URL, I'm going to specify my second image, this one. And then just after that, I'm going to specify background size, which is cover. Along with that, I'm going to specify background repeat, no repeat. And then I'm going to save the changes. When I save the changes, you can notice we have this image on the top of grid elements. We need to adjust this position. So I'm going to specify Z index here. I'm going to specify Z index minus one. When I save the changes, you can notice we have this image behind this grid elements. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these gaps. I'm going to get rid of these grid gaps just like this. Save the changes. And now when I scroll down, you can notice I have this beautiful effect. Now, I hope you understand how easy it is to use image spawn and relax JS at the same time and create this beautiful effect. Like this video if you find anything useful. Subscribe for more latest videos. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.